Hi friends, so I thought to take this uh, topic lecture before we learn about the search and the find because you might need a variety of data. So the topic is how to import and export collections or tables or table data from MongoDB. So I would encourage you to go to the website premaseem.com like premaseem.wordpress you can search like MongoDB here and you, you might end up with this link. You can also find this link in my YouTube tutorial down there. So the command is super simple. You need to go to the bash and then you have to say Mongo export and then you have to define which database you want to export and from the database name which collection now the thing is that you have to have a collection name otherwise this command won't work so you will uh, define from the database whatever collection then you say out which means it would give the output to a file you can say it as json or js or mjs like mongo javascript or blah 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 it doesn't matter you can do anything so let's try and uh, First try to export the data and then we'll try to import it again. Correct. So it's hands on time. So which database I am? I am in Mongo tutorials and which collections we have here. So we want to export the results collection, right? So uh, let us try to write a command it's mongo export again we don't have to type this command in mongo shell we have to do it in bash and the uh, collection should be case it should be same since it's the case sensitive thing so we say minus minus db instead of typing i usually prefer to copy so that if i like small t this export might fail and I want to be super sure that whatever the case is there, it's correct because Mongo is case sensitive like Linux. So we have the DB, we have the collection and name of collection is results. I just want to be double sure with the case and everything. And, and let me just expand it and we have to say minus minus out so it would give the output as result export dot json c so it has completed it has exported 300 records and it's in the folder uh, we can just check do ls and we find it here we can do a vim on this and there so you see that it also exports the id so if you are trying to re-import it it would give you a duplicate uh, um, error because it is uh, the id has to be unique right so you cannot get duplicate data inserted here so let's try to import it with some different collection name or first we try to insert it here and see what happens and then we will do the actual import uh, on maybe on some other database or maybe same database but with different collection name the same file so let me get out of here we have this thing mongo import works pretty much same we have mongo export same mongo import so if you need the command you can just go to the uh, go to my blog and just copy paste it and make changes so you don't you know you don't have to fight with the syntax so what we are going to do is we are going to import it in mongo t u t u r i l tutorial and you can name the collection as why we okay 
instead of doing all this first let's say try this thing so here we have to say it's file from which you need to import that's a collection name that's a database name instead of export we say import and try this now the error is because of the duplicate keys because this collection already has the IDs which I just told you some time back so now we have to do a happy path we will make change the collection name as collection imported and there you go it runs successful this time so we will see here so collections we see two and both of them are more or less identical this has 300 data we export it from here import it in here this has 300 data this is more or less the same thing correct i can just get this validated for you dot our results dot count you can do results results imported dot count there you go so to summarize you can export the table with its entire data and you can import it by following simple commands and it would be handy for you to practice like you can import any sample json and practice your search which would be coming up in next series of lectures so uh, thanks uh, my name is Premaseem and I hope you might have enjoyed learning with me.